Our streamer is late. I'm subscribing not the tier two. Yeah, I'm late. We'll talk about it. I'm like relieved, but also so annoyed right now. But hi, Vic. Guys, who excited? Who's <laughs> who's excited for new art type one? I can't talk. I don't click away for a day and a half, and this is what happens. Okay. Guys, I'm in a different chair today. Be excited. Hello. The chair is also shorter. So it makes me look really short. <laughs> but hello. <laughs> good afternoon. Good evening. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Saturday, September 7th. Uh, yeah, it's Saturday. 1.13pm. I'm live late. Now, also the square, this chair is very squeaky. This is like our dining room chair but I like it to paint in because it's not fabric and I kind of like how my feet stick to it because it's faux leather anyway we had Vic in the starting soon screen welcome in okay so I always feel like I have excuses but yesterday was a legit excuse so yesterday some of you guys know was my first like real day of counseling now I had my initial screening which Instead of a phone call, because they assess you for symptoms and then diagnose you. So that was, like, on Tuesday? It was, yeah, it was Tuesday. So I already was, like, exhausted from that. And I had my first, like, real session with the actual counselor yesterday. Dude, I was dead for the rest of the day. <laughs> and it was at 8 a.m., like, literally the first person of the day. But, yeah, I couldn't do shit yesterday. So I hung out with my favorite sister. We went out and hung out, because she actually had a Friday off. So, and that made me feel better. And now I'm here today with new artwork. Now, you guys want to see it? I haven't posted any on social media because, you know, AI sucks. I posted one on Twitter, but it's not like a close-up or anything. Okay, so the collection that's out today took a lot of effort to get on the stupid website. There's less pictures because I feel like you don't need that many pictures. Um, but I had an issue with the website this morning. Because <laughs> apparently I did it wrong months ago. So then when I tried to add like new products and new sections within the pages, it like broke. So I had to basically redo everything this morning. Because what happened was, because you know when you go to a website and you're, you're waiting for a job and like at the scheduled time it shows up? So I tried to do that this time and it was, I was going to publish it at like 10 and then I clicked publish and then it didn't fucking work. So now I know how to do it. It was my fault because <laughs> I saved like a version. Like, let's say instead of publishing version 5, I accidentally published version 3 because I didn't save properly. So, I had to figure out what I did wrong, and then I had to redo all the pages again. So, Shopify, more like Lopify. But, you know, it's my fault. It's my fault. You know, I'm a STEM girly, but I don't know how to fucking code. So, everything on the website should be good. All the pages should be working. It should be linked properly now. 
Guys, click the link, go bookmark the website. Do it now. So, the review. This collection features a series of four by six watercolor illustrations. They're technically mixed media because I did use fine liner and some acrylic marker, but mainly watercolor illustration. And this collection is called Birds on Wire. I think it's funnier than Birds on Wires. You know, a little bit of improper grammar, but you know, I think that's funnier. So it has four different illustrations, all of which are inspired by like infrastructure I'll see in my daily walks. Obviously, these are altered because I, I, you know, I've seen people play GeoGuessr, so these are altered <laughs> from the actual photo references, but they're still like, uh, how you say? proportional for the most part because it's still like it's not abstract but it's like the main method is line art and then watercolor so the first piece let me get the right order this one's my favorite to bh this is the one that was in the post i have to do it this way because like it washes out it is and we'll be able to see better on the second camera but all the line art is done with pen so you can see like varying line widths for like for shortening, you know, manga and stuff like that. So that was piece number one. Uh, this one was number two. Oh wait, what was this one called? This one was called Tiny Bird. If you see, you can see a tiny bird. Uh, this one is called Birds and Pole, I believe. Like I said, it's at this angle so we don't get a flashbang. The white balance. I think I posted this one in a tweet a while ago. So this is the only one that's like from the photo reference, like basically. I think the joke I made with the tweet with this picture was even the crows be stream snapping because one almost pooped in my head. Number three. Wait, is my camera flipped? Wait, no, that's what you see. My camera is not flipped. It's not flipped. Okay. And then El Final, Bird and Traffic Lights. The ombre looks crazy on camera. It's very difficult to get an ombre this clean. So the way that these were done is, as I always do, I digitize my artwork in my original sketches. I'll show the sketches next time. I, I put them away. So I sketch on paper and then I digitize on my computer. Because I have a little Wacom tablet. And then I print out the digitized drawings. That way, whenever I do make replicas, they're as close to the original as they can be. And then I trace the digitized drawings. I line art with pen. And then I watercolor. Yay! The gradient on this one looks crazy. Because I use Sakura high pigment watercolors, so even the white had pigment in it. That's why, like, you can see a little bit of white fade in the bottom. But yeah, so that's the process. So today, the plan is simple. We're going to be doing a demo piece from the start. So I'm going to cut the paper. I'm going to line the line art. I'm going to watercolor the paper. And the first person who makes a purchase today... Because we no longer can do giveaways, as we learned from Senor Beast. <laughs> uh, no more giveaways, Sag. So the first person who makes a purchase will get the demo painting that we do on stream today. And to make it special, kind of like the, uh, I guess you could say the red iris we did last time. It'll be one of these illustrations, but like a totally different color. Like I'll try and do like a sunset. Like purples and oranges, I think that'd be pretty. The reason why I did just blues on this is because I wanted these to look normal, I guess. Because the main focus for this series was obviously me practicing watercolor and then also playing with line art. I think this one demonstrates it the best. Let me actually pull up the second camera. Oh, it's flipped now. Look at that. Because you can kind of tell subtly the line art is thicker here on the bottom and it gets thinner as it goes up. You know, like in the main manga, line art shows weight and depth. 
Yeah, so I'll be demoing it today. So guys, if you haven't had the chance, make sure you click the link in the pin chat. Where is it? And go to my website. Ain't no way. Peace out to myshopify.com. You'll find these right here pinned under newest pieces. Now the price point, just to be transparent, each of these takes about an hour to hour 15 to do. That also count, took into account the time which it took to actually draw and render out the initial drawings. So the price point for these, they're all 30. Obviously some, this one is less detailed than this one, but they're still all 30. You can also choose to get the complete set which has all four for a reduced price of 110. So you save 10 bucks if you buy all four with the combo pack. So just keep that in mind. So you can find these on the homepage under the newest pieces section, so right at the top. Or if you go to shop, click the drop down and go to illustrations, it'll be right here. The reason why I didn't count these as watercolor paintings is because watercolor doesn't really rely as heavily on the breast usage when compared to like traditional painting. So that's why I made a separate section for illustrations rather than putting the watercolors with paintings. Because to me, watercolor is still painting, but it's not like, it's not the first thing I think of when I think of a painting, you know what I mean? So that's where it is on the website. It's also under gallery illustrations right here, the collection birds and wire, and then just all illustrations. Now, let me tell you, this morning was shit. Reconfigurating all my pages. Oh my god. Like, for some reason, anytime I tried to update, like, let's say the illustrations page, it would automatically update the paintings to have whatever I added to the illustrations page. So I had to basically redo everything. <laughs> but you know what? It's a learning journey. And now my website should be properly done now. So no more fuck-ups. Hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. And also, the last thing that I struggled with. So what happened the last time we did an art job, which was for the Lino prints, people could not order them because I didn't set up the shipping thing properly. And I did it right this morning. So obviously, the way to test this is for me to open like an incognito tab and then I, I buy it but don't check out. I did that, and for all of them except for one, wasn't working. I was like, what? What is going on? So it was a matter of me not checking a single fucking box. Anyway, that's why I'm late. That's why I'm like a fucking hour late than I said I would be. But you know what? It's better to troubleshoot before somebody who potentially would go and buy it, like, can't buy it. So, guys, everything works. Bye now. For every person that buys something today, I will say thank you. And you'll get to see an alert on screen. Okay, so, like I said, these are the four pieces available today. Wait, upside down. Yeah, these are the sample pieces. Similar to the larger paintings, these will be made to order. So, if you place an order, I will most likely do it on stream. And if I don't do it on stream, sorry. <laughs> So I think out of all of them, I honestly really like these two. I think it's because these have the most color. But I definitely think the line art on the tiny bird one is the coolest. So we'll do, excuse me, we'll do this one to start today. Okay, so I'm going to do the whole painting live. Get your stopwatches ready. We're going to see how long this takes me. My guess, oh, let's see. Hour 15. You know, an hour if I'm speedrunning, but an hour 15 if we're being realistic. Because, obviously, different methods take different amount of times. So, yeah. So, first, let's get the camera on. Now, I have to work fast because I forgot to charge this camera. Because my sister and I went to a cat cafe. No, I cannot show pictures because I don't want to DOX myself. But... It was her first time taking pictures of, like, something moving and alive. Okay, I'm not showing feet. <laughs> so, I forgot to charge the camera when we got home. So, it'll last for, like, two hours, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna grab the paper cutter.
I got one of those nice paper cutters. I think 20 bucks. Technically a business expense, so it's chill. Alright uh, guys, type 1 if you're gonna buy a painting. So the streamer is late and a short stream. Girl, I got diagnosed with PTSD yesterday, so I would politely be kind. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. About like... No, my diagnosis is real, but... <laughs> I'm chill. Okay, now I need paper. Hi, Electro. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Yes, thank you for highlighting the message. I'm so glad I saw that. <laughs> okay, so I have just like eight and a half by 11 cold press water paper. The difference between cold and hot press is the paper's ability to like absorb water. So cold press has larger grains in it. You can't see it on camera, but just pretend it's more textured than hot press. So, because there's more pockets in the paper, it can hold more water. So, if you want to blend your colors when the water is still wet, it's a lot easier to with cold press paper. Hot press, you, you're more likely to get a smoother finish on the paper, but then in turn, it cannot hold as much water. So, it's a lot better if you're trying to do a wet on dry painting method versus wet on wet. And we'll dive into that a bit later. Okay, so, and guys, don't be scared. I have a knife. It's a machete cutter. It's really cool. Be very careful when you use this, though. So. Okay, so I need a 5x7 paper because the illustrations are technically 4x6, but it's 5x7 with a border. Because I know some people said they sh I should start bordering my pieces, which is valid. Okay, so I need a 5x7. So this cutting tool is really cool because it came with like a leveler. So you're supposed to line up the leveler. Okay, I have it lined up at five inches. I'm gonna move my mouse. I don't want to slice that. There you go. It's fine. I didn't have the on the table. <laughs> Guys, I went to art school. So now paper is nice and straight. Quickly cut down. And a perfect five by eight and a half. Let's go ahead and cut this one too. Because if you don't use this straight tool, then you're gonna have like a crooked edge. Who wants the free paper? Open your mouth. Eat up. <laughs> it's it's like those little uh, sticks you put in your mouth at the doctor's office and he says, ah. And then you fart. Wait. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Now, allegedly, the paper gooder can cut 20 sheets of paper, but I learned the hard way that it meant 20 pieces of copy paper, not watercolor paper. It can cut two pieces, three pieces if you really tried, but... It's safer to just cut one at a time. Okay, now we're going to measure out seven inches because it's a five by seven piece of paper. Good effect. Clean. Got a five by seven. Another one. Okay, I'll cut more paper later, but I'm done for now. We got two five by sevens. So let's put one aside for later. And in case, like, I mess up. Because the hardest part, 
out of the whole process is the liner. It's very hard to use microns on the watercolor paper because the paper is textured. We're going to grab our handy dandy light box. That's the same one I have. Oh my god, two wins! Did you get it from Amazon? Yeah, I, it's pretty damn good, though. The only thing that could be better about it is that I wish the surface was slightly harder, because I do feel it, like, bend. But it hasn't warped yet, thank goodness. Okay. I'm locked in. As you guys know, I hate tape, so I'm not going to tape the border on my watercolor paper. I'm not going to tape. I refuse. But I will tape down my watercolor paper. That way my image doesn't move. Now, you'll see me standing up when I work a lot, and it's not because I want people to look at my ass. <laughs> it's because... When you look at something from above, you get a bird's eye view, so it's usually a more straight angle. Versus when you're sitting down, you're looking at it from like a, probably like, let's say a, a 20 to 35 angle. And then your proportions won't be right. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so, oh, you can't see it on camera at all. Let me turn off my ring light. Or no, I can adjust the eyes, though. There we go. Just remind me to put it back up, okay? Of course, I gotta go with my handy-dandy Micron pens. For the majority, the majority of these pens, or the majority of the colors I use, sorry, the majority of the widths I used was 005, 02, 03, 03, and then the 08. So for the majority of the liner, I'm going to use a number 2. That way I can go back and thicken the lines later. So, as you, as you can see, I used already differing line widths. So in the final, I typically, or I will use the number 8 for the tree in the foreground. I will use the 005 for the clouds. And then... A 002 for the pole and the wires in the background. Oh, wait, I should. F fuck. I never do pen first. What am I doing? Pencil first, of course. Okay, now we're officially starting. It's been 10 minutes. I very rarely will do pen on top when I'm tracing. Because even if I'm tracing on top of like a final piece, this is watercolor paper. And since it has a more rigid texture, sometimes the edge of the fine art tip clips on it. And then you get like an undesired stroke. So for a majority of the line work, I will do pencil first, take it off the tracing board, and then just ink it as normal. The drawing programs I used to digitize these were Sketchbook Pro and then Adobe Fresco. Okay. 
I'm going to do the line art straight away with the trees because I found that was easier than doing this post. Because if you're working with a thicker fine liner, then you have a bit more precision against the larger ridges on the paper. Yeah, this is a demo piece, so it's fine if I fuck up. Or you can't see because it's on the paper. There's a section here that has leaf details, but I already cut it off, so... Too late now. Guys, um, first purchase of the day gets this one for free! Ain't no way! Well, you know, that's the beauty of doing every piece by hand. They're not all going to be the same. They're all going to be technically originals. For the string in the foreground, I decided to make the leaves mo more like blocky. Because I just like that look. Wait, did you guys see? New season of Arcane coming out in November. I love the trailer because they didn't spoil anything. Leaf details in the foreground and done. I'm gonna start doing the clouds. I'm fine with doing line art straight in the clouds because it's because the clouds are supposed to be like uneven, so it's fine if it's not like perfectly lined. Since I don't want the outline for the clouds to be too drastic, I'm just lightly pressing on the paper with a 05 liner. I'm also breaking the lines a little bit too. Just to give it a bit more of a texture. <clears throat> I'm not going to draw the line art for the cloud right against the pole because I know that won't line up but I will add in that line detail later
Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm done with the light box for this one now. We can start inking for real. Wait, no, this is copyrighted music. Okay, we're moving this one from the playlist. Perfect. Now, I had a clear ruler, but I legit can't find it. <laughs> so... I got my metal rulers. In case anybody comes in, I'll slice them. Talking about slicing, guys. <laughs> We're 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type a chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And you know what? For every follower I get today, also thank you. The only part that will need a ruler will be lining the pole and the two telephone wires. I gotta make sure I'm on camera. Going in with my number two liner and I'm pressing hard. Cause if you don't press hard when you're using the fine liners on watercolor, you'll see skipping in your line. Even if you're using the ruler, just cause the way the texture of the paper is. Perfect. I almost overshot the line a bit, but I didn't. I do learn. I get right up on my paper. I would get one of those goofy eyeglass things. But you know, I got a reputation to uphold. Okay, that line was a bit crooked, but that's because I clipped the paper weird. For the telephone wires, they go across here. They're very small because in this picture, the wires are like a block away, essentially. That's why they're really skinny. So I'm still gonna go in with the number two liner. But I'm gonna press lightly, not super hard on it. I'm going to do a second line. It could be perceived as two wires, but it's technically one wire, but the line art is very close together. Looks like one thick line, but it's not.
clean. Hardest part is done, the base liner. Now we're gonna add a bit more dimension by thickening some of the lines. Now, since this piece doesn't do any shading with color pencil or graphite, the main shading will be demonstrated with the coloring for the watercolors or the line art of the infrastructure. So the best way to add dimension for this one is to make the line art on the base of the pole thicker. And the reason of that being, if something is closer to you, it's going to appear bigger. A little bit of foreshortening too. I really need to color code my microns again. Yeah, I'm going to go in with a number three liner to thicken the baseline on this pole. Going to start from the bottom. Because when I do line art, I usually will do hard pressure and then softer pressure as my stroke goes on. Just because, like, you have a stronger script when it's here and then you kind of loosen whenever you pull back. So I'm basically going to press hard at the base of the pool. And as I get further up, I'm going to like, how do I say, like lift up the marker. But as I lift up, it'll slow, it'll slightly taper and look thinner. You can see from a distance the line width here compared to just the straight number two. So now see how thickening just that part of the pool adds a bit more like interpreted dimension or interpretive. So we're going to do it to the opposite side as well. I'm gonna go in with my 005 to, ch to touch up the lines a little bit. Hi Kim, welcome in. We get some yos. Hello. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, 
line art is done, now we can start watercoloring. The best part. I don't have a dedicated watercolor brush yet. I do need to get one. Because you typically just need a larger brush that has more of a taper tip. It's kind of like how when you work with like an actual brush pen, you can get a lot of different varying stroke sizes. And then if you have a larger brush that is, I guess, a bigger plume of bristles, then it can carry more water. Okay, let's get started. So this is the original. Like I said, I'm going to do different colors for the demo piece. Oh yeah, I need to draw on the bird. I'll draw on the bird at the end. Because whenever you do watercolor on top of fine liner or dye ink, you usually don't see it on top of the black ink. But if you put it on too heavy, sometimes you do. So I'll draw the bird. No, I should draw the bird now. Peace and line people cried. Tiny bird. I'm going to go in with my 02 and then my 05 liner. Or zero zero five. That bird is right here. Tiny bird. Oh, I didn't even draw it on camera, sorry. Tiny bird. I know the proportions aren't right, because, like, the bird should be, like, a quarter inch big, but I think it's funnier that it's that tiny. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. It is very important you use clean water when you're working with watercolor because you don't want to get unwanted colors in your hands and then also on your virtual plane. So this piece uses a mixture of wet on wet and then also dry on wet or wet on dry methods of painting. So if you're gonna combine the methods, it's best you do wet on dry first. That way you don't put more paint on top of a wet surface. So to explain the difference, a wet on dry is kind of like how you normally would paint, just putting paint on the paper versus wet on wet, which is where you layer watercolor on top of watercolor when it's still wet. Or when you try to put watercolor and pools of water that way you can mix colors better you'll see that method in a lot of like galaxy or sunset type paintings which i guess this one kind of is but so it's best to do wet on dry first i feel like i should move my camera okay no narcs if i leak okay Nah, there's nothing there. <laughs> Just my closet. Oh, okay. Now me almost clicking on the Mario Kart scene. Imagine. Okay, so the parts this that use the wet on dry will be the trees and then the pole. I'm going to do the pole first because it's easy. When you're working with watercolor that's in a pan, you have to activate it first. So meaning you just put dabs of water in the pan and then you mix and mix. Because if you just wet your brush and dip it in the pan without mixing and activating it, then you're going to get a less saturated color. So, right there is gray. It 
so depending on how thick or thin you put it on, you can get different grays by layering on top of each other. So the pole, I used a mix of wet on dry and then also wet on wet. So to start, I'm going to do a very, very thin layer of water on the entirety of the pole. Dip a little bit in my activated gray. Kind of spot it on, clean the brush. Make sure it's mostly dry. And then I spread. So the difference you will see of the look from wet to wet versus dry on dry. Dry and dry, you get a more saturated color versus wet on wet, where you will have the color become desaturated because you're dipping pigment into water and obviously water is clear or has no color. So because of that, this pole isn't a fully opaque gray. Like some parts are lighter, some parts are grayer. I like that look. I like it. And depending on the quality of watercolors you get, if you put water on top of it, it could reactivate. But since this is a cold pressed watercolor paper, it absorbs the pigment and water very well. So brushing water on top of it can sometimes reactivate some of the pigment, but not all of it. So like, let's say I spilled water on this. Yeah, it would still be fucked up, but it wouldn't look as smeared as if it were a hot press watercolor paper. I put too much gray down. Okay, it's fine. I fixed it. Oh, yeah, really. So this pole, I cut when the paint is still kind of wet. I'll add a bit more water here to reactivate it a tad. I kind of want to add some, you could say, moss. So just a few streaks of this olivey green. Because, you know, any infrastructure is bad. I'm going to add some water to spread it out and reactivate it a little bit. So I don't want it to be too greeny. Greeny, greeny, greeny. Doesn't really show on camera, but it has like a little slight greeny yellow hue on the edge. Pole is good for now. And similar thing with the foreshortening, the base of the pole is a little lighter when compared further away. Because even if that part of the pole is closer to the light source, since we're looking at the pole at the base, it'll look darker because you imagine like line art being like shadows, kind of right? Or like outlines of things. The out or the outlines of the pole would be closer together because it's further away. That's why it looks darker. Like, even if things are colored flat and not necessarily fully rendered with proper, like, grayscale or, I guess, blue tone shading, because there's not all the gray in nature, you can still kind of mimic it by slightly changing the shades and tones of the color you use. Okay. Next, let's do the tree. Our water is still clean, so I don't need to swap it out. Now, I have to remember that this part is sky, not tree, because <laughs> one of the samples I did, I colored this part green. Oopsie. But I gotta remember that that part is not green. <laughs>
So I think for the background of this one, I want to make it like oranges. I think I still want to make the trees green. Because I think doing red trees against an orange sky would be like too much. For this, I will do a full dry or wet on dry. Has anyone ordered yet? No, sir. And whoever places the order first will get the demo piece for free. No more Mr. Beast giveaways. Okay, right now I'm activating my lightest green. It's like a neon -y green. Okay, so we're gonna do just a straight wash on the tree. Oh, look how clean. Hi, Ethan. Welcome, man. Can we get some yosh? Hello. I should not put this in my mouth. Hello, guys. First, were you really? I'm locked and nobody better be saying bad words right now. Who was first, me or Ethan? Wait, did you guys actually? Ethan is a liar. Mods ban him. <laughs> But thank you for your order, Kim. What'd you get? You got the whole set? You're crazy. You're crazy. Shit, that means I have to paint them. <laughs> Not now, though. But thank you, Kim. Can we get some wimps and shed? Thank you. I love wires like to chew on this happened a while ago but i was sleeping one night and i dead ass thought like a wire popped like i saw flashing lights and then i heard a crackle and i woke everybody up it had to be like midnight or some shit and i was so scared and then i walked outside because i was so scared but i was also scared to go outside because i didn't know if it was like an actual electrical fire i go outside there was nothing apparently it was just a firework Should I tell my therapist that? I used to design wires for my job. Wait, you're actually smart? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I feel like every Twitch watcher is like somebody who's super educated. Lacey does whipped cream gas, not getting my sub again. What are you talking about? I'm a design engineer? Wait, what the fuck? That's so cool. Wait, that means you're like actually smart. <laughs> I think we talked about this in a different stream. Because it's not that I'm like, okay, I do have a degree, so like I'm kind of educated. But I can't consume highly produced content because I know the process behind it. So that's why I think I enjoy, like, YouTube and stream content a lot, because it's, like, branded content. Versus a movie or a TV show where I have to sit and watch. Like, Kim, do you look at, like, people's, like, homes and be like, shit, that's good or that's bad? Wait, you could do, like, City Makeover Edition. What are you saying, Ethan? Did you, like, eat something? <laughs> I judge work? 
Wait, you know what I think is probably the easiest job, like, ever? The people who stand on the road and see if the road is level or not. Like, that seems like the dream. I looked it up, and apparently you need a degree. But, like, an actual degree. Okay, so this is the wet on dry. This side's almost dry. Controversial, I don't use a heat gun or a hair dryer because sometimes when you do that, it pushes the water and then you get like an undesired coloring. So I don't, I don't use any heat tools. I just wait. You know, part of the meditation of painting is waiting. So I wait for it to fucking dry. I'm gonna go, okay, thank you for your purchase, Kim. I'll paint it on stream. Um, um, whenever I want to. Because <laughs> we got Shape Up September. That's why I'm using my chair over here. Because I moved my desk chair out of my room. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not reading chat quickly, so like Ethan's messages are gone by the time I react to them. Take your time, I'm in no rush. Okay. No, the watercolors are fun, not gonna lie. It's not as, like, intimidating as acrylic or the house paintings. Because, you know, it's, like, pleasant to watch the colors mix. It's almost dry. Once again, thank you, Kim, for your purchase. You'll also get this one for free. I think I'll mail this one out first. Because stamps are cheap. It's fucking 40 cents. Because I think I can only fit like two in an envelope. Yeah, you can, I can only fit two in an envelope. Otherwise it'd be too thick. And can't mail all four. Okay. So that's just about drying. I'm going to work on activating my other greens. So for the leaves, I drew in some in black, the line art. So it's going to act as like a faux shadow. So when I'm coloring in, I'm going to go in with a slightly darker green and kind of dab it underneath, kind of acting like a shadow almost. Now it doesn't really matter the stroke shape per se, because I will be blending out this color. So I'm going in with my medium green, just adding some like speckly strokes, not fully filling in. When that is still wet, I'm going to go in with my smaller brush, put a little bit of water, and then blend out the colors a bit. Since I did dab and kind of speckle the paint on, there will be parts that are darker and lighter than others, so it'll kind of mimic light cascading through leaves. Like I said earlier, this is not supposed to be hyper-realistic, but you can still mimic shading with one color, depending on where you place certain shades of the same color. Wait, guys, we're now under stream, fuck! Um, frick, this is a sponsored stream. Guys, subscribe if you don't want to see the ads. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but today's YouTube video, I literally edited it, edit, edited it this morning, and I uploaded it, and the upload finished at exactly 9, but I had to wait till 9.15 to publish it because I wanted it to be in HD. And you know what? I've never missed a Saturday. Yeah, it's mainly because yesterday... Uh, it was bad because uh, I need to reactivate this medium green again. Because my sister and I went out of town to go to a cat cafe. And like the bus home took like an hour and a half. 
and of course it's out of town and it's in an area where like the buses don't like run as much so it was either we we'll wait for an hour at the bus stop or like we take a lift and i was like sister please i'm dying because <laughs> i don't know it feels like super hazy in washington right now which it shouldn't be because it's not summer so there's no more wildfires unless there is and i'm just clueless I saw these holographic watercolors and I want them so fucking bad. I saw them on TikTok, of course, but like it was the actual like company's page. You know how much they cost? $20 a pan. A pan that big? $20. But the holographic was insane. I was like, shit, because like one pad costs like a hundred fucking dollars. Yeah, but it was like this really high pigment watercolor. Like, you know the nail polish I have, how it's holographic? Imagine that level of like holographics, but with watercolor. Like, it was insane. Like, I was like, oh my god, I fucking need this. Because it looks far better than like a metallic, like pen looks on paper. Because it's just like a super high pigment count, watercolor. It was still $20. I was like, dude, I gotta wait till that YouTube money kicks in. <laughs> I was like, I can't do that now. A business expense, but... Because <laughs> I think I like the idea of offering, like, a chance of a hollow for the artwork that I have. For, like, the non-painting ones. Because I think that gimmick is kind of cool. But I don't have holographic watercolors. I guess I could try and make my own. It would take a lot of powders, though. That's the reason why it's $20, because it takes a lot of powder to make it that holographic. Like, those little jars of mica powders i've used on stream before it'd probably take like a quarter of that bottle and those bottles cost like depending where you get them of course probably like five to ten dollars each i miss that game what music is playing crescent moon village Wario Land. You know, I'm never playing WarioWare because I don't want to do, like, inappropriate things on stream. Okay, so I did the light green wash and then I added medium green on top. You can see some parts that are lighter and darker than others. When you do the wet on dry... It's kind of like layering normal paint on top of it. It won't send my messages about the game because it has the word bomb in it. Oh, that was not a Cooking Mama song. You know, I think I kind of want to add some blocked words that are just normal ass words just to like fuck with you guys. I think that'd be really funny. Okay, now I've activated my second darkest green. I grabbed a lot of pigment by accident. That's fine. So I'm just going to very lightly dot this in parts that would be darker.
I was just saying how much money for you to play the game again. I will do the Cooking Mama games. I will do all of them. Because I, 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 really I really like the gimmick of beating it in one stream. But the problem with doing marathon-type marathon streams like that is that they're a pain in the ass to edit. I'm still fucking editing that the last Cooking Mama stream we did where I did all 50 recipes. Like, because that stream was seven hours long. <laughs> And I, I will edit, like, a little bit every week, and it's been, like, five weeks. You know, we gotta wait for the YouTube editor money to come in, so that way I can just, like, click a live and give them, like, 100 hours of raw footage and say, like, fuck you, here's what you're doing for the next month. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Me neither. <laughs> you know, everybody things clicking go live is so easy but in reality it's fucking not no but like for real it is so easy to stream but it's so hard to like how does one say be good at it guys type one if you think i'm a good streamer type two if you're a hate watcher because like it how many of the streamers you watch just play like games? They just do games. And that's all they do. Like literally all they do. Versus me, Peace and nominate me for Hidden Gem. Like I will whenever it's a like a one off game, unless it's story, I will try to plan something for it. If it's like a just chatting, there's always a premise to it. It's not like I plan like crazy. It's just, I feel like I add something more than just playing a fucking game. Okay, this paint is drying quickly. I need to stop yapping. Mario Odyssey. When is Odyssey 2 coming out? We need it. I put too much of this darker green down that is drawing. It's fucking drawing. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. No, I'm not dumb. I'm just clueless. Out of all the paintings, this one takes the longest. The other ones are kind of simple. Do you think Odyssey 2 will be released in the next five years? Oh, definitely. It's going to be probably one of the headliner games for the Switch 2. It has to be. I know it's been rumored for forever. But Odyssey came out in 2017, like when I was in high school, my last year of high school. Wow, look at that. Wow. It has to come out soon, it's gotta. I'm gonna add some more darker green here near the base of the leaves. What would they even do for Odyssey 2? I feel like most Mario game has like its own unique gimmick or function. Odyssey, of course, is a standout because it's one of the first few 3D Mario's we've had in a while. Besides the Galaxy, I guess, but I don't like talking about Galaxy. This is me finding out that they made a Switch 2. They've rumored a new console. But they're not going to announce it till probably next year. That's why in all of their postings about their Nintendo Directs, they have to explicitly say, Hey guys, we're not doing the Switch 2 in this one, smile.
I assume it'll be holiday season next year they announce the console. Because obviously sales are higher near the end of the year because Christmas and stuff. Oh, that looks so nice. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Just kidding, I'll add a tad more of the green on the edge. Because whenever you do the wet on wet method to get the ombre look for the sky, you have to make sure everything else is fully dry. Otherwise, your colors will bleed. All right now, I'm just adding some darker green underneath the leaf clusters I drew in pen. Now I'm gonna. Blend it out with water when it's still wet enough to be activated. Oh my god, did I tell you guys the other day I played poker rug? I've been I've been playing poker rug every fucking day. I still haven't got burnt out on it. I think it's because I haven't beaten the game yet. I know the moment I beat poker rug, I'm gonna like quit it and never play again. I'm still committed to playing poker rug every day until I beat it as a stream idea. Like, I'll, I'm, I'm committing to that in November. But I still want to try and beat it before then. I think it's possible. I got to level 115. My PB is 120. And I think my route is just stay in the water sections. Because you get Pikachu, and then he kills everybody. But Pikachu does not have good defense. So he's kind of bad. Also, the whale guy, Celio... Meowth is pretty good. Because I don't use Meowth's Payday as much, but their Fake Out is good. Okay, I think the tree is done. Looks pretty good. Shading came out a lot better in this one, let's be honest. Not saying it's bad. Like I said, the ones pictured on the websites are samples. So, like, samples are, like, 99% good. Also, I gotta get speed running because it's been an hour. And I gotta go grocery shopping. Even though grocery shopping on the weekend is a mistake, so like everybody brings their kids. And not saying that I'm a child hater, <laughs> but <laughs> oh my god, there's one like enemy in Pokerog where their dialogue is like, man, this is why I hate kids. Okay, so since I'm going to start doing the wet on wet method, it is very important that your water is clean. So I'm going to grab new water. The brand of watercolor I'm using is Sakura Watercolor. If you can't tell, I'm a brand loyalist when it comes to art supplies. And their watercolors are very pigmented. Very pigmented. So you have to clean your water a lot. I have to go for a drive, but I'll keep the tab open for those channel points. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Plus one. <laughs> but drive safe. <laughs> Okay, wet on wet, in my opinion, is the hardest method to do with watercolor because obviously water is kind of unpredictable at times. Also, I'm looking at this. You can't tell on camera. This isn't straight. I got to fix this. Now that's a proper happens border. You guys may be wondering, why aren't you using tape? Why aren't you using tape? Do I look like a little bitch to you? Only wimps use tape. 
There we go. Okay, so wet on wet refers to either putting water down first or putting or putting more wet paint on top of drying paint. So this is water down first and then wet paint. So you have to work very quickly. So basically, I'm just going to put down just straight water on my paper. And I did say I was going to do a different colored sunset for this one. I'm looking at it at an angle to see what parts still have water in it. I'm gonna do an orange and yellow at the bottom and then it'll fade into like a pinky. So I activated some of my orange here. Now with my clean brush, I'm just gonna spread it out. The reason why I'm not using the larger brush to spread is because I need a lot more precision when I'm spreading the pigment around. Especially in the sections that have the little cloud plumes, I don't want to accidentally get it on the parts that are meant to be white. The reason I have to act quickly is because if you put too much water down on your paper, it'll be more likely to spill over and pool in spots that you don't want it to. So whenever I do wet and wet, I put a very thin layer of water down. At this point, the water is almost drying. It looks very, it looks piss yellow, but it's orangey. It's orange. Okay, now to get a close enough gradient, I'm gonna put water on the opposite side. You'll see this method a lot for like galaxy sunset paintings because it's the easiest way to get a clean gator or a clean gradient, not Gatorade. I got Gatorade on the brain, hashtag not sponsored. Guys, I am sponsored, not sponsored because it's my own business. By peace note to my shop com. Click the link. Go bookmark the site today. So I'm probably going to do orange, probably orange into a red and then a pink, I think. I'm going to work on this next section. The green, the tree is fully dry now. Do as I say, not as I do. Do not put brushes in your mouth. It's going to fuck up your teeth. But let's be honest, my teeth are already fucked up. At least my teeth aren't crooked. I got lucky that I didn't need braces. I need to activate my pink. Or my red, rather. <laughs> So I'm putting a dab of red, dab of the orange.
add some more red just to make it a bit more of an intense gradient. I don't know if it might pick up the gas, but I like I spilled water in the border. There are some parts near the leaf section of the tree where the water is spilling over, but it's not bleeding. It's because I allowed the green paints to fully dry. That way if water does get on it, it doesn't fully reactivate it. That's one of the main benefits of working with cold press, because I did practice with both hot and cold press. I did buy a bundle of hot press. And with hot press, I noticed that like if I accidentally spilled water or if I painted on top of it, the colors reactivated a lot more than the cold press. So that's why I decided to work with that. Okay, I'm going to start activating my fuchsia. Now notice when I'm dabbing in color, I'm not filling in the entire section. Because when I clean the brush and dip it in the water, when I spread, yes, it'll make the colors less opaque, but it'll have a bit more control versus if I put too much pigment down. Cute. The reason why I choose I chose just to do blue skies for the originals that are for sale is because not gonna lie. I feel like sunsets are kind of basic. <laughs> They're a lot harder to like execute in terms of like 
technical skill to get a pretty clean gradient, but like you see every motherfucker doing a sunset. And, you know, I gotta stand up from the crab. And it's also because, like, I legit don't have any good pictures of sunsets or sunrises. Because every time... I see the most beautiful sunset. It's always when I don't have my DSLR and my phone camera is shit. Even my newer Samsung, like, it can't capture light properly sometimes. It really pisses me off. Okay, I think I want to add a dab of pupora just to the top here. A little bit, because we're making a basic ass sunshine. Sun sunset. Sunshine. I can't talk. I think I'm nervous. You know, I'm nervous to be on stream now. I don't know what's wrong with me. Guys, peace and for hidden gem. Please and thank you. We really need it. Do, do, do. Okay, so I think this is done. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we just, yeah, this is done. I don't need to add any other colors. The gradient here, not the smoothest. Adding color will not help. Oh wow. It's not super noticeable on camera, but it looks a lot more noticeable in person. My sugar mama texted me. Peace and phone streamer. And yes, they texted me on the burner phone. They can't find out about my sugar daddy. <laughs> what time is it? Okay. Cool. Now we wait. We wait for the paint to dry. I also gotta wait for it to dry because some of the sections still sp did spill out into the clouds. So I'll have to touch it up with the white gel pen. I just realized I had my hair down the whole time. I usually don't do that when I paint. I mean, if I have my headphones on, I don't notice my hair as much, because it doesn't touch my ears. I think, worst feelings in the world, hair touching ear, hair touching neck. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it sounded funny. Dude, oh my god. Okay, you guys cannot leak. You cannot leak. But, because I did a virtual visit with my therapist yesterday, right? Because previously I did phone calls, but now I decided to opt in for, like, Zoom calls. And it was really funny, because at the end... Granted, my therapist is a white lady. And, you know, we live in Libtard, Washington, so everybody's trying to be, like, woke. So, at the end, I went like this. I was like, thank you, so-and-so, for, like, seeing me today. So, I, like, I did a little bow. Now, <laughs> and she was like, oh, she's she was like, is that a Japanese thing? Do I need to, like, bow back? I'm like, no, you don't need to. Because... <laughs> It's kind of a traditional thing to, like, bow to say thank you, but it's not, like, necessary. It's just something that I do, because, you know, that's how I was taught. It's also, like, even when, like, I'm at the register, I still go, like, thank you. Like, it's not, like, something major. But she was, like, so nervous about, like, offending me. 
I felt so bad. That was really fucking funny. You know, if she cancels on me, then I think that's why. <laughs> yeah, I think she said, she was like, is that a Japanese thing or is that like a peace and thing? Of course she said my name, but she's like, is that a, like a peace and like mannerism? I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I told my sister we could not stop laughing oh my god okay what can this dry quicker this is why I hate wet on wet it takes fucking forever to dry okay I'm gonna grab my pen I'm gonna be risky I'm gonna fill it in now fuck it Oh, I should have waited. I'm stupid. Oh, no, it's fine. The color's bled, but not really. Hi, Sam. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, I think this painting is done. I got a splash of water here. That's fine. You know, I'll allow you to test your stand-up bits, but if it's a bad joke, you're getting banned. <laughs> Cute. What do you get when a cow gets caught in an earthquake? A milkshake? Mm. I'll give that one a three out of five. You're not banned. <laughs> Okay, so this is our version 1.1 1 .1 of the tiny bird painting. Here we go. This is the original that is available on the website. And this is the special shiny version that the first person who made a purchase today will get for free. And that goes to Computer and Chat. Once again, thank you for order. They ordered the entire collection. So W plus 100 for me. But there we go. I think this came out nice. You know, I said, um, how do I say? I think sunsets are still kind of basic. But, you know, it's chill. I think this one came out good. The purple on the top is a bit much, but it's still good. Oh. I don't know. I think Automod got you for that one late. I don't know. Okay. I think we'll wrap here for today. Because I gotta go soon. I gotta go shopping. You know, women be shopping. Well, it's flipped. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you for you guys' patience the past few days. You know. Life happens. But the plan is simple. I will probably go live on Monday. Creo que si voy a stream lunes. <laughs> oh my god! Duolingo! Like, it wasn't yesterday, but the day before. I literally remember it was like 10.30 p.m. I was doing it, like, in my bed. And then I woke up and I had the app open. I, I missed a day! I was devastated. so humiliating okay so that took obviously a bit longer than the normal would have because i did multiple colors for the sky but that took about an hour hour 20 yeah the original would take like an hour 10 definitely but yeah look at that looks cute thank you okay sam you are gonna we'll see you in 10 minutes you need to calm down. No flirting in the chat. There we go. That looks like neon on camera, but it's not. It's not neon. And here's the original. 
Isn't a wild hog color can drastically change the look? I feel like this one would be better if the leaves were lighter. I think the dark green stands out too much. But yeah. Like I said earlier, thank you guys for watching. New artwork is available on the website. Click the link in the pin shot. And use code TWITCH10 to get $10 off your purchase today. You can buy the singles from this collection or the whole collection, which is all four illustrations. You can find them on the homepage if you scroll down a bit. If you go to shop illustrations, they'll be right here as well. Ain't no way. And you know what? It fucking works. <laughs> so there we go. Guys, once again, thank you for all your support with the art stuff and streaming. You know, art is my passion. We'll see how far it goes. There we go. Peace in art .my Shopify com. everybody. If you use code TWITCH10, you get $10 off your purchase today. Or whenever you do want to buy something, the code will still be there. And if you're a current Twitch subscriber, you do get an exclusive one-time discount. Ain't no way. Okay. Well, like I said, I gotta go. Dude, it's so funny. Dude, my sister's hilarious. Sorry. You guys will meet her one day. But I had my cream cheese and bagel and prosciutto the other day, right? She ate half my fucking bagel. And then I went and made another one. And then she ate the other half of that one. Because she was like, peace and can I have a bite? And I was like, yeah. Can I have another bite? <laughs> so I gotta buy more bagels. Because I was supposed to do that yesterday, but then I didn't. Because I'm a bad sister. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And each other's circus. thank you for hanging out. And once again, thank you for all you guys' support and encouragement with the art stuff. I still want to do one art drop a month. Obviously, I missed August. So maybe we'll do two in September. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> but I really like this one. I'm really proud of this one. I think this one is the best from the collection. But, you know, it was really fun to work with a medium that I typically don't work with. I haven't done watercolor in forever. But I'm not saying that I'll do, like, a different medium for every draw, but it's fun to, like, play around, you know what I mean? I do have a really banger idea, but it's gonna be hell. I think the next thing I want to do is probably just normal illustration. Like, just normal, then maybe watercolor, maybe acrylic on paper. Like, just normal-ass illustration. Something that I am wanting to do maybe by the end of the year early next year i still want to do the stained art stained glass theme like try to find vellum paper or get plastic paper and figure out how to paint it i'm still working on that and then i also i, I still want to do the physical pixel art but i need to learn pixel art so i need to i need to what you call it learn how to do fucking pixel art and then do physical pixel art Hi, go Bobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. Are the paintings good? Uh, what do you think? Or you should go to the website and look for yourself, sucker. Got them. I think they're cute. But this is the one we did today. Slayy. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, go Bobo. Can we get some bull Bobos in chat? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. 25 months? Holy shit. Okay, we have to do calligraphy then. But I have to do it really quick because I gotta go soon. But thank you for the resub code, Bobo. I appreciate it. Okay. I got like five minutes. My sugar mama's gonna pick me up. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm lying. Just, like, keep in mind, like, half the shit I see on stream is a lie. Not auto-mod? You didn't even get modded, you got insta-deleted. What did you say? Or maybe you said mama? You've been here for 25 months, you should know that mama is a blocked word.
I was asking if the guy got removed. Oh, the guy earlier? I timed him out for 10 minutes and they left. I'll ban him later. The only person who can flirt with me are my tier 3 subs. Guys, subscribe right now. I said bitch. <laughs> or did you say bastard? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, because they were obviously making a bad joke. But any any time someone says, like, an innuendo joke that is, like, intended to bait you, I just pretend I don't understand what they're saying. Because they were obviously making, like, a... A B-O-B -O joke. But, you know, I gotta be clueless. Okay. Once again, thank you, Cole Bobo, for the 20, 20, 25-month resub. That's a long-ass time. That's a long time. But thank you for being here. Okay. I will see you guys probably Monday. Continuing Shape Up September. Shape Up September will have fitness games. I think the next one I play will be on the Wii. So get ready for Wii streams. And then on either Saturday the 14th or Sunday the 15th will be the Cycle Subathon. So guys, get your wallets and not your parents' credit cards ready. Because every bit will be a minute. One sub, I'm sorry, equals two minutes. I'm scamming. But yeah, that's the plan for this weekend. It is this weekend. But thank you guys for watching and enjoying what I do. Once again, thank you to Kim for buying all four watercolors today. You're crazy. I will mail this out later. But, yeah. I'll see you guys Monday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Bye-bye. She bought all of them? Yeah. Because for the smaller pieces I offer, I offer the single piece, and then you can buy all the, the whole collection for a discounted price. I think the combo collection was $10 cheaper than buying everyone as a single, but there's no shinies for this one. Because the combo for all four watercolors costs 110 USD. Because each watercolor takes about an hour. So not too bad. In terms of, like, time. Okay. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you Monday. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, wait, new YouTube video. Click the link. Go watch it now. It's a banger. It's already got like 20 views. That's really good for a piece in video. It's an edit from the Dress to Impress stream. The edit that I got out last minute.